Thank you for attending the Metropolitan Lighting Training. So today, uh, what we're going to walk you through is to give you an overview of Metropolitan Lighting Company. We're going to kind of do a past, present, future uh, Metropolitan Lighting discussion. Um, what you see on the page here is you see the two Metropolitan books that are current. So on the left-hand side is the 2019 big book. And then on the right-hand side is the 2020 collection. Um, and those are new introductions from January 2020. So what we want to do is break down the book for you here, um, give you a way when you go to the book, you pull it out, you know what you're working with, you know the, the scenario you're in. Um, so first off, if you look at the big book on the left hand side, A, you're going to see since 1939. So Metropolitan founded over 75 years ago. Um, their, their mission initially was to provide, you know, European designs to the American market. And so what's happened with Metropolitan uh, through the years is they've actually evolved and established their own unique style vision while they honor these European classics. Um, they're also introducing products to reflect current design trends and lifestyles. So what we're going to do today is just kind of present you with that thought process, how to walk through that, what that looks like, sophisticated, elegant, glamorous and innovative uh, chandeliers and bath lighting. Uh, which really have, you know, include a lot of diverse materials and finishes and manufacturing techniques. So that's kind of touch on where we're headed, what we're going to do. So how the rest of the presentation is going to break out is on the bottom left hand corner of the, the big book, you see contemporary classic and artisan. So really the book is broken up into those three, three different sections. Um, and so what we're going to do is talk through those three different sections. And so first, what we're going to do is we're going to start with artisan. So really, you know, in today's world of advertising buzzwords, you're going to see the term artisan. You know, that's people frequently use that to create the perception of high value or unique character. And, you know, for the lighting industry, the great thing is we actually still have skilled workers, you know, as it said here, skilled craft workers um, who create these products. And so, um, that part of the book where we're talking artisan, those are actually products that are being imported from Europe um, and different parts of Europe. And so what we're going to do is kind of touch on that, touch on a little bit of the, the skills that are there. So this gives you a quick overview of that artisan collection in the book. We can definitely go into more details on that. But what we're doing here today is just to really bring you up to speed with the book. So we're in the book and you're in the artisan section, you're going to see metropolitan collection. So really when, you, when you're seeing artisan, seeing Metropolitan Collection, somewhere on that page, you're gonna see these logos, handcrafted in Italy, handcrafted in Spain, handcrafted on the islands of Murano and Venice, Italy. So these are all things that are gonna help guide you in your discussion um, as you're working with an end user or as you're looking at Met Metropolitan products that you're actually um, working with product that's actually being imported from Europe you know, Metropolitan brings these products into California. They actually check the product. They bring it up to US standards as far as wiring. They power the fixture. They take it close detail on what's there. And then they, they're going to ship it out directly to you. So it's, it, it's really like a white glove service is what they do with products that are being brought over from Europe. So as we, as we go there, the first thing we're going to touch on is glass. So really, you know, the glass thing you have here, you know, you see Kamer, the Kamer collection. You're going to hear Venetian. You're going to hear Murano. Those are those uh, terms that are used to describe the different uh, types of glassware made in Venice, Italy. Um, and so really, you know, this all started back in the 13th century before there were candles put in fixtures. You know, really, you know, somewhere along in the 1800s, they started putting the candles in for people to use uh, these glass pieces as to help them light a space and light a room. Um, and then that Murano term, you know, really in the 1920s, um, they moved all these processes out to an island, the island of Murano, um, where it remains today. And that was really to protect, when they did that, was to protect um, their knowledge and their processes on how they were making the glass. And so that's where all these names you're gonna see. These are products that, again, brought in by Metropolitan Lighting. These are in the catalog, you know, there's products there. So as we talk artisan, you're gonna see things with glass in the book. Um, and then you're also gonna see items like this. So you're gonna see that handcrafted in Italy here. 
Um, you know, these are items that really the framework here is made with law, the lost wax process. Um, so it's a really a metal, uh, a method of metal casting in which molten metal is poured into a mold um, that's been created uh, from a wax model. So, you know, that's been hand carved initially, you know, to kind of create this framework. And then those molds get used over and over again to create these fixtures. You know, so you have an artisan here that's building these fixtures. They're tying these individual crystals on, you know, these products do show up fully draped. Um, so you, you know, from Italy to California, then to you, you know, these, these have been touched by a few hands, um, you know, in the process of making it. So it's really definitely unique pieces um, and definitely something to uh, take note of. So here's another piece you're gonna kind of see just a great silver uh, finish on this fixture. Again, all the detail, European items with the beadings and the fretwork, um, really just amazing pieces. Um, and that's really that whole artisan thought process with Metropolitan. So as we move forward, and there's a broad way of wall sconces, fixtures, it's really just the story of what's there, you know, kind of what you're working with. And then as we move forward, we go into this term, the next part of the book, classic. You know, so classic, it's those words you see on the page here, colonial, Victorian, European, gold, bronze, brass, symmetrical. Um, that's really what the whole classic collection is. And so really, so today what we're gonna dive into is we're just gonna show you really um, the most popular uh, classic collection, uh, really more of a recent introduction. So Chateau Noble. Um, so this collection just is, it, it goes to traditions, you know, so you've got, you know, beautifully sculpted iron framework here. You've got a bronze finish with the gold leaf highlights, and then you've got the crystal droplets with the fixture. So it's a very broad family. Um, there are a lot of different pieces in this. You know, so just really great price points and the difference that you're stepping away from you know the fixtures we just saw prior to where we're calling them artisans these are actually classic pieces so these are pieces that are going to be imported from europe so you're going to are imported from asia so you're going to see the influence of the european product in these but this is actually sourced and manufactured differently and def and going to have that different price point um, so great collection here, very broad, lots of, lots of different pieces that are in the catalog. Uh, so just wanted to give you kind of a snapshot of that. So then what we're going to spend our most time on today are those contemporary collections. So, you know, literal sense of contemporary is what's happening now. Um, and so what's really interesting about lighting, you know, when you look back and you say, what is lighting? What influenced lighting? What are all these designs and styles that we've had in lighting for all these years? you're really, the influences can be taxes, marriages, gods, wars, you know, all these different things influence lighting and what's going on around us. So the great thing about today is light fixtures are focused on basics of line shape and form to create that artistic statement. And that's what we're getting to participate in now. So that's just really such a fun, interesting thing. Um, so as we move into contemporary and we walk through this, very avant-garde collections. So you're going to see a lot of different looks and styles here. Um, and it really is going to open your eyes to the broad array of what Metropolitan Lighting is doing. So here you have Brook Crest. You know, here, great two-tone finish. You know, you've got this gold leaf center, center clusters in the fixture. You've got the sand coal outer wrap. And then you have these diamond or crystals shaped in diamonds and creating a whole different pattern of diamonds. So just tons of feel of the diamond uh, inlay here. You know, it's just really cool family, um, really brilliant. And is, if you define transitional, that's exactly what this collection is. So that's Brookcrest. And as we move forward here, this is the Bella Flora collection. So you kind of step into Bella Flora, all of a sudden you have this natural feel, you know, where Brookcrest is very, very defined lines. Bella Floor is very open, very natural. If you see how those crystals are tied on there, those crystals actually are creating a twist. You're really giving you uh, a wistful feel and then you've got the branch-like arms. So just a cool definition of uh, avant-garde between two different families and what you're gonna see in this catalog. Then you move into Ruxton Hall. So you've very got a very modern and ar architectural family. 
again, the Skyline Gold Leaf Collection here really warms this, uh, warms this up. You've got the horizontal uh, crystals that you're working with here, um, horizontal and vertical, depending on the feast. So uh, Ruxton Hall has just been a, a great family for us. If you notice that cluster there, you know, definitely look into the clusters of the fixtures. Um, it really kind of mimics the play on the, on the outside of the fixture. So that larger piece here, that four-year piece on the right-hand side, just to give you an idea. So IMAP here is $849.95. So Ruxton Hall, uh, just a beautiful, warm, modern architectural family. Coronade, so great collection here too. Great price points, uh, great IMAP. Um, so you've got a, just a cool feel here with the pleated shade. And then on top of the pleat in the metal, you've also got a very geometric design. Um, and then you take that light cluster and the light cluster has been very thought out on how it's in that fixture and how it really kind of disappears into it. So just geometric metal shades, clean clusters, um, just sets a complete tone of elegance and really you get some cool light play with this fixture. Um, and again, with great price points. So then we move to Manitou. So again, a totally different look. This kind of has that natural hammered look. So you've got vertical bars running here. Um, definitely different finishes uh, or bronze and golds and little touch of bronze and golds on different pieces. Um, again, you're gonna notice that cluster here really disappears. So that centerpiece, you've got the Sputnik, um, really a cool piece, semi flushes and pendants. Um, so Manitou is very popular. Again, gonna give you that a little bit of that natural feel or handmade uh, iron feel. So really cool family. Then we moved to Abandaza. So we were kind of talking about artisan collection products that were coming from Europe. It's really truly an artisan collection coming from Asia. So um, these are individually hand fused rings and they're creating that geometric pattern. pattern. And so that helps to make the, all these pieces of one of a kind. You know, your framework's gonna be the same, but all those geometric pieces are all gonna sit differently. They're gonna be different. Um, so it's really a cool, really a cool piece how that goes. This is a gold finish. You can kind of see the multi-layers of the gold finish here. So it's a very rich, very warm family. Um, kind of see how those clusters, again, you know, the, the two stack cluster in that um, pendant on the right-hand side, huge piece. Um, so just a gorgeous collection here with Abandaza. Then you move into Sable Point. So Sable Point was introduced in 2019. Sable Point's been a, you know, fantastic uh, family for Metropolitan. So here you've got really a modern design in the two-tone finishes. So you've really got these two finishes that are gonna play together. And then again, to keep touching on clusters, something that helps set these products apart. Um, very unique clusters on how the, the product is um, sitting in these fixtures, how the, the sockets are sitting in these fixtures. So nice warm back plate on the wall sconce. You've got the brass background, and then you can see those individual uh, sockets, how they sit there, how they stand out, how they really participate in the, in the architectural form of this family. So again, great price points here. So this island light, just to give you an idea with IMAP, we're looking at $619.95, you know, so great price points. Um, the foyer light on the top right that you see there, uh, $549.95. Um, so this family is a lot larger family, a lot more pieces to it, but this just gives you an idea, a look and a feel of the Sable Point collection. Then Brent Cove. So we kind of see, now we go to open an area with glass. You know, there's just huge panels of glass on these fixtures. Um, so it's a gold mist leaf framework. Um, and those are cut clear panels. So you can kind of see the edge detail on those. Um, very versatile upscale collection. So this is going to be one of those things that this is going to fit in a lot of different environments. This can go in a silver environment, a gold environment, a bronze environment. You know, that beautiful finish that's here really opens up the details with Brenton Cove of where you can actually use these collections. Um, then moving forward, that's that. We go to Blairmore. So now we've got a fixture that, you know, really you've got these gold squares that are actually fused in together. Um, so it's actually a honey gold finish. Um, you've got the gold squares, you've got white, um, the white shades actually mixed in with the gold squares. The sconce down there at the, down at the bottom is actually an LED piece. Um, so this is just a great collection from Metropolitan. 
uh, really great price points. So you're looking at that four light pendant on the left with the shade um, and then the intricate detail on top and bottom, $529.95 on IMAP with that. The sconce that's LED at the bottom is $269.95 on a price. So really oversized, you know, great sconce piece. And then the pendant at the top right, um, that's a very large piece. So that's actually an eight light pendant. I think we're at 32 inch diameter and you're looking at $829.95 on that price point with the Blairmore collection. So really a cool collection, lots going on here. Then you move into mass transit. So mass transit, then you have this real industrial feel, two-tone. You've got the black framework with the, against the nickel framework. It's a fluted glass or ribbed glass. And then you've got an LED, um, LED light source for that. So mass transit, very, this is a January 2020 introduction. Um, so really just an exciting cutting edge industrial design here. Evergold. So these are actually handcrafted gold leaf drums and they place them um, on this fixture as it comes together. So those are applied here and stacked on each other. You know, you kind of look at this and see leaf pattern uh, really up close and in person. It almost has a coral feel to it that it's just been plated in gold. So a lot of texture here, a uh, very fun family, um, very fun family to work with. Um, very excited to see this was a January 2020 introduction. So it's very fun to see where this fixture um, is, is going to go. So rare elements. So great collection. So here, I mean, your eyes go right to it. So you've got that crystal chunks that are hanging there. Um, and that fixture really works upward from there. So um, when you step above that uh, crystal chunk, you've got the gold cylinder that's actually an LED light source. That LED light source is driving light through that crystal piece to just make these fixtures pop. And then you've got the, the ironwork frame above it that's really gonna disappear in most settings. You know, if you had a hospitality setting um, where you have a darker ceiling, really all you're going to see with this fixture is going to be those crystal pieces and just the gorgeousness of that. And so, um, you know, definitely has that raw natural feel um, with, with the crystal elements. Then Kingsmont. So Kingsmont, you know, really you've got, you know, really it's a bold gold leaf family, you know, so you're really kind of stepping across a couple of different things here because you've got the transitional pieces where you've got uh, drums and metal and the crystal inlay with that. And those are all rod hung pieces. And then you come over to, you know, the chandelier pieces here that are chain hung and give it a little bit more of a traditional feel. So if there's anything that you look at and you think this is luxury, this is, you know, transitional, this family definitely speaks to that. Um, and especially even if you look at the hanging system, you know, those down rods are gonna be used in a more uh, transitional setting versus the chain hung pieces. So Kingsmont collection, 2019 introduction, this has just been fantastic for Metropolitan. Claire Point, so cool family here. You've got the oval rings, this fixture's really, kind of fits into that whole oval play. You can kind of see on the fixture on the bottom left, that large semi-flush piece. If you look to the bottom, you see how the individual light cluster comes out from each ring to then hold your socket, your socket piece and places it directly in its own little open window. So you really just have a great feel with this piece. Lots of different pieces in this family. Just kind of want to give you an idea of that oversized uh, semi-flush that's there, and then a lot of individual other pieces that are in the catalog um, for Claire Plum. So Bell Arts, so just a great family here. So you've got a clear crystal set, um, and it's a shadow silver leaf framework. Um, so it really creates a up, uh, sophisticated upscale look. Very trendy, very casual glam. So this is one of those pieces where we're going to hit pri higher price points based on um, really the crystal setting in here. And that what you're going to look at here is that 12 light drum that's at the bottom of the page. So just to give you an idea, 12 light drum, you're looking at $14.99. Uh, so that's actually, you know, almost $1,500 for that piece at an IMAP setting. So really just a ton of value with how much crystal how many sockets, how much light you're gonna get here. 
So very warm, smoky feel to these fixtures. So Bell War, just a fantastic collection, great price points, great value um, in this look and in this style. Well, and then Belmondo. So this is our last collection we're gonna kind of run through here. So if the fixture on the right, that's kind of scaled down to be on it. That's a huge piece. This island light in the middle, very large piece. And then just want to give you an idea of what the mini pendant looked like. So Belmondo is definitely one of those uh, fixtures that people are looking for centerpieces. Um, you know, this is definitely going to play into that and play into a luxury lifestyle. Um, so those are all faceted crystals. It's all hand painted gold around each crystal. Um, so tons of detail here. As you can see in these pictures, very hard to see the light source here. So you're going to get all kinds of light play with this collection. So the whole discussion here, you know, these were the contemporary setting. These were the contemporary collections in the catalog. That's how the catalog's broken out. So you have Belmondo, Bell Or, Claire Point, Kingsmont, Rare Elements, Evergold, Mass Transit, Blairmore, Brenton Cove, Sable Point, Abandaza, Manitou, Coronade, Ruxton Hall, Bella Flora, and Brookcrest. And the whole discussion there is to bring you through, you know, yes, in Metropolitan, we still have that classic collection. It's there, but we have so much more when it comes to the contemporary collections and those introductions. And then we still today, you know, live up to that initial um, desire for Metropolitan, you know, to import products from Europe and to be that for people. So just want to thank you for your quick run through. Thank you for your time. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We are here, happy to provide, provide any details you need um, on your job or to quote you. Thank you very much.